Hey there, welcome back. Today on Brick Fever, we're going to be taking a look at Kylo Ren's space shuttle. This is the second iteration of his shuttle. The first gen was the wings and the whole body of the shuttle was primarily a dark gray with light gray accents. Uh, I like this version and iteration much better as well as the fact that this set has a much more diversified set of minifigures and their collectability is much higher. So if you were to make a selection on resale value and uh, collectability, this is the set to buy. I specifically bought this set to collect Kylo Ren and the two Knights of Ren. This will, uh, as I've stated in previous videos, I'm working hard to get my Knights of Ren complete sets. So first we'll take a look at Kylo Ren. This is the episode 9 Kylo Ren. And he has his uh, cracked helmet that he reforged after he got angry and broke it in the second movie that he's in. He has the chainmail suit, a little bit of leg printing. I think they could have done better on his saber hilt. In the movies, it's actually black. So why did they not do it black? This uh, kind of gunmetal gray, I'm not too satisfied with that. It should have been black. They make them in black. It could have been really easy to make his black. He also has a uh, two-faced head with two different expressions. That was a really nice addition. We'll then take a look at the first Knight of Ren. He uses the Emperor Palpatine hood for this Lego. It's got full leg printing, as you can see here. Not just at the turn at the waist, but also down on the knees. Printing on his back, even though it's just some standard Jedi robe printing on the back. Same thing with this cape. The, both these capes, I think... Uh, Seeing the Darth Vader's castle really opened my eyes to the quality of Star Wars capes or Lego capes in general. I think they should start stepping it up. Those capes that are in that set are really thick and very nice. This is this uh, character's axe that is also in the movie. They did a good job trying to resemble it. His head is super detailed. Get it focused here. And uh, I really liked his head. There's only two Knights of Ren that have facial features. The rest have helmets and no facial features. We'll take a look at the last one in this set. He has a helmet. And again, just a black head, no facial features. Very detailed body. Got a couple grenades. A knife there and it's scabbard. Uh, detailed leg printing. Got straps on the back. The helmet, one of a kind, never been seen. He's got a staff. The staff is uh, close, but not uh, no cigar. This is not the staff that they had in the movie. His staff in the movie, if I recall, had a red where those uh, two uh, gray studs are. That was red, and the staff was black, uh, if I recall. And I think there's some sort of detonator or landmine or something in his uh, left hand. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, those are the two Knights of Ren that are in this set. And Kylo Ren. Then we'll take a next step is General Pride. He doesn't play a major role, but he becomes a general after there was a coup with the standing general that became a uh, rebel spy and conspired to uh, overthrow them he tried to cop out and just play it off and pride saw right through it he took a, shot him right there on the spot took over for him he's really basic in printing as well and he plays a cup a small role in the uh, episode 9 rise of skywalker and then this character right here you can only get in a select legos they have a 
Sith Trooper Battle Pack where you can get this Sith Trooper and this Kylo Ren Shuttle set is the only places I know that you can get it. Single expression, clone trooper head, but the printing is wicked. And it's a red stormtrooper. How can it not get any cooler than that? I love the gun and this the scene with the Sith troopers where they go to Exion or whatever, the Sith planet. It's just a wicked battle scene. I'm a fan of the uh, third trilogy. A lot of people are hating on it, but I really liked it. I especially enjoyed Rise of the Skywalker, and I hope they do more. I hope they do a... Uh, follow up in the return of the Jedi so to speak where uh, there's a new rebirth of the Jedi order and this is just your standard stormtrooper he's in many many sets if we take a chance to get to know this shuttle better we will find out what it is all about it does some really cool features and uh so as you lift up, it has these two these two switches here in the back. These will actually expand the wings. You can do them at the same time. They made it sure there was enough clearance. I really like that. I do have a downfall. If you'll notice, as you try and rotate them, they do not want to lock in. That is my most concern, most worrisome concern about this set. If you really try, you can get them to lock in, but you're putting a lot of torque on the Legos in the back. And then these will, so I just take and push them up, make them stay. These lock in into the wings there, and that's secure. And once they're in, they won't move. But again, they do move slightly. They, it's kind of got some slop in it. So that's the only downfall I've noticed about this set. As you pick it up, the wings will expand with gravity and the weight of the wings and then this motor rotates them back for landing you have two photon launchers here and here as well and then those are launched by these two projectile studs right here you push those in and they launch the photons Inside you have a nice spacious transport. I'm going to expand these back down. It has three control panels. One for, you won't be able to see it with the lid open. But it has multiple uh, control panels for them to use during action. It looks like there's one for Kylo to command. And then two for the knights to uh, probably take over the uh, battle positions. And I'll show you what it looks like when everybody in, is in their rightful place. I like the fact that they are using these new types of seats with the 2 by one brick that has a center divide that goes in between their legs. It's easier to place them in there. You don't have to try and push their legs down onto the studs. I just I really like that feature. And then the first seat is actually the same as the back, but he has a backrest as the command seat for Kylo. And there's also storage for a second uh, photon cannon missile right there. And as well as a spot to place Kylo Ren's lightsaber on the other side. Or you could take and put one of the Knights of Ren's uh, weapons on the side that the extra missile is on. But there is only room for two, even though this does seat three. So that could have been, I'm sure there was room to put a third one in there. They just did not make it happen. So... That is everything I know about the Kylo Ren shuttle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would like to get uh, more information about what you guys want to see. 
and uh, what I could do better to uh, have more in-depth reviews, maybe more descriptive. Just tell me what you guys, uh, give me some critique. All right.